watched my very first video um, and I was super nervous but you were so so kind so remember to subscribe and share because we're making um, you know stuff that you can easily make in your house just give it a little twist because it's a regular stuff that we eat every day so today I want to make a barbecue so barbecue chicken barbecue uh, butternut I know many many children in houses do not really like butternut and we like restrict it to only babies but it's actually a really really good and nutritious starch that you can put together in your meal and then we'll have spinach so um, just to quickly run you through because I want to uh, show you how I make the sauce and the marinade that will go into into the chicken but with the spinach what I really like is to put in some milk and I usually cook it with butter as well and what better than the KCC uh, butter that's our own and that will be for the spinach for the bag for the um, butternut which you know we've sliced it thin that way we will just put some run some olive oil or butter on top and we'll put some little bit of salt and some black pepper as well and I'll throw it into into the oven okay so I want to show you now how to make the chicken marinade um, I'll start with regular ketchup uh, if you can, you can use barbecue sauce, but um, sometimes it's easier to make it in your home as well, the barbecue sauce. So I'll use regular ketchup, and you can measure it, um, you know, whichever way you want, but I usually use like my eyes, I guess that's what motherhood does. Um, I'll add in a little bit of black pepper, so I'll just grind that into... into the sauce. And black pepper is always amazing, amazing. Um, I'm going to use this uh, spice season, so barbecue grilled seasoning, which usually gives either meat or uh, chicken, whatever it is you're using for barbecue. So um, I got it at Shoprite. So I'll, be, I'll add on to that as well. Another really good thing, so that I don't have to use a regular salt. It's a dry salt. Uh, but this bar salt I actually got as a gift uh, from my sister, Chepto. Um, but there's bar salt that also, it's also available in some of the supermarkets. You go to ShopRite or if you go to uh, Carrefour as well, they have bar salt. So bar salt is just salt but with a bit of extra uh, spices. And then of course, my secret ingredient for barbecue sauce, I usually, barbecue chicken, I usually put in a bit of teriyaki. Not too much, so it doesn't change the color too much um, of the chicken, but it gives it a really beautiful tangy taste. Um, I like Worcester sauce as well, which you can get uh, in any of the supermarkets. Not too much, but just a little bit of that. And of course, garlic and ginger. Sometimes I pound them myself in the house. Uh, but sometimes I just prefer to buy one in the supermarket that's already mixed. So it's basically a pre-mixed um, ginger and garlic. So I'm really big on garlic, so I'm going to put like two, uh, three, <laughs> three teaspoons of garlic. So I'm going to try something new as well. It's a curry powder that I found. Um, it's called Raj. I don't know, I've not used it before Raja. It's curry powder with garlic, but extra garlic is always nice. So I'll just put in not too much of that because it's the first time I'm using it and I don't know how it's gonna um, affect this, but curry powder is always nice on a barbecue chicken. That's about a teaspoon. And then I'll go just mix that. So that's basically our homemade barbecue sauce, which I will then use to marinate the chicken in. You'll see that the chicken is partly marinated, so just to cut down the time, uh, because it's a little late now, so I will use this. To, I'll use this, sometimes I use my hands, uh, but just to make sure that the spread is even and well distributed on the chicken, so I use the, it looks like a paintbrush, I think it's called a cooking brush, I don't know. So there we go. I 
So I'm to barbecue the chicken because um, I'll, I think we'll come back when I've either already put it in the oven. I'll just line um, with foil uh, on the bottom of the cooking pan and then I'll throw it in. It'll stay there for about 45 minutes to an hour on not very high heat. And then we'll see what the results are like after that. And I'll put that in at the same time as well uh, with the butternut, which I showed you earlier. So let's put that in the marinade tin now. So I'll leave this to marinate for a bit, for a bit. and then we'll come back when I'm putting it in the oven. Remember to subscribe, it's uh, <laughs> my kitchen, with Terry Anchebet, the subscribe button is just at the bottom there, it's at Terry Anchebet, uh, do you say at on YouTube or you just say Terry Anchebet? Well, search for Terry Anchebet, I think you'll find my uh, YouTube channel. Well, thank you and see you in a bit. I think you'll find my uh, YouTube channel. Well, thank you and see you in a bit.